first thing is you don't want to do this alone. We have to have communal life in the church. Um, get plugged in, whether it's a youth group at your parish. Culture Project is a wonderful ministry that exists to promote the message of chastity. Get involved on campus ministry on campus if this is your university. You know, we have to do this thing together because it's so easy when you walk out of here to feel just completely alone in this because you might have a whole circle of friends and everybody thinks that you're just crazy for believing any of this stuff. And so pick up the resources on their way out. Perusia Media has a table full of books and CDs and theology and all kinds of wonderful stuff. Dig into this stuff because you're going to get tested on all this stuff that I presented tonight and much more than this. And you need to have solid answers. And if someone stumps you on it, don't make up a lame answer. Tell them, you know what, that is a, that's a really good question. I haven't thought about an answer to that. Can you give me two days and let's meet up and let's talk about this. And then you go and you dig. That humility goes so far just to be able to know what, what you don't know. So then you go and you dig because I promise you the church has the answers. And if she didn't have the answers, she wouldn't be around for 2,000 years. Because you think, if we can't destroy the Catholic Church, I mean, what possibly could? I mean, there, for 2,000 years, God has entrusted us men to run this church. But the Holy Spirit and the promise of Christ is precisely why it's still standing. And so the answers are there. The question is just, do we have the time and the energy to seek it out and get them? So find communal life, get plugged in, get some solid answers, and then most importantly, your prayer life. Purity is a gift from Jesus Christ that nobody asks for, and then we complain it's hard to be pure. It doesn't come from it within me. I just got to try harder, and then I'll just grow and grow and grow. No, the, as soon as you really try to practice chastity is when you discover you can't do this. That's when you really begin, and then you realize it's gonna, it has to come from him, and that keeps us humble because pride comes before a fall. We need to realize it comes from him, not from us. So having that sacramental life, going to confession often, you know, I, I think... Australia is like America. More Catholics in America wash their car more frequently than their own soul. It's been like, oh, three weeks, got to clean the Honda. Oh, okay, when was the last time you went to confession? I was 11 years old. It's like, okay, <laughs> let's get this thing in order. You know, so go to the Sacrament of Reconciliation. Tonight we're going to have an opportunity for Eucharistic adoration together. We're going to the very bread of angels, the very source of the purity from which we live this out. If we want to live this out, we can't unplug ourselves from the source of all that grace in the community life and in the sacraments and that relationship with Christ. So.